Hey guys, Michael Shamblin here again with a new tutorial. This is going to be a quick one. Um, this is basically just going to explain how to do uh, pans and tilts and zooms in Adobe Premiere, um, basically doing it in post rather than doing it in camera. The first thing you're going to want to do is to open up a new timeline um, and put your clip in there. The clip needs to be a little bit higher than 1080p or if you're planning on um, posting your video at 720 at least having the video be uh, a little higher than that. Um, right now we have a clip that let's see if we go to scale right now it's at 100 if we start to tone that back you can start to see that we have a lot of room to play with right here it's a uh, it's a higher resolution clip. Um, so the first thing to do would be to figure out what we want to do to this clip. I think what would look good for this clip is maybe a um, like a zoom out. So we're going to uh, set this back at 100% and we are going to go to the beginning of our clip and we're going to set a keyframe which is this little uh, this little clock right next to scale. Uh, you can use these clocks, these keyframes on anything, uh, rotation, position, um, you know, you can use it for uh, opacity, pretty much anything that you want. Uh, so we're just going to do scale. There's our keyframe right there. And I'm just going to set a keyframe anywhere and start to uh, select this 100 and scroll it uh, with my mouse, uh, kind of scroll this backwards or you can just set the number yourself. I'm just going to do 77. Now to open up this dialog box um, and make it a lot bigger so you can set your, your out frame, um, you're going to want to press the key on your keyboard that's before 1. I'm not sure what it's called, but it has a squiggly line and a smaller uh, line under it. But it's, it's literally the key right before your 1 key on your keyboard. Um, so just click that, and it's going to open up our. Um, it's going it's going to open up the uh, video effects box really wide and fill up your screen, and it's going to make it really easy to see the end of our clip. So I'm just going to drag this last keyframe that we made all the way to the end, and then if you tap that uh, the key before one again, it'll go back to normal, and if we play this back, you should see that we have this zoom out, it's a little choppy, let me play it at and forth. It's still a little choppy, but um, yeah, so that is how to do a zoom. Um, you can do the same effect by using your position. You can actually make key, uh, more keyframes too, like if I wanted uh, somewhere in the middle of this sequence for the image to go really large. We can just make a new keyframe right here and now the clip should should uh, the clip should zoom in and then zoom out again. Um, but yeah I've, I've just gotten this question a lot and it's a really really simple simple thing to do. Um, so yeah, just experiment with it and I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Also please visit my website and stay tuned for more tutorials. Thanks.